is your phone listening to you? We've all been there before, yeah, having a chat to a friend about something totally random, like wanting to go on a holiday, and before long, you're getting ads like these popping up in your social media feeds. So, are our little bundles of joy secretly eavesdropping on us? Well, big tech owners have been asked that exact question a fair bit over the years. Facebook owner Mark Zuckerberg's always replied with an emphatic... No. He's even labelled it a conspiracy and chalked it all up to coincidence. You're talking about this um, conspiracy theory that gets passed around that we listen to what's going on on your microphone and use that for ads. Right. We don't do that. Some other heavyweights like Apple and Google have also said they're not randomly listening. But here's the thing. Technically, a lot of devices are actually listening out for triggers we've agreed to, like saying, OK, Google, or hey, Siri. OK, Google. Play Laughing Owl. <laughs> and all big five tech companies have also been caught recording and listening to private conversations in the past, from samples taken while a device isn't activated or turned on by accident. There was a great deal of uh, concern that people's potentially private conversations that perhaps hadn't been intended for Siri or for Alexa were suddenly being listened to by, uh, by individuals in another country. Whether that's got anything to do with targeted ads, probably not. But a lot of users just aren't convinced. So I decided to put it to the test. For the next five days, I'm going to say the word snorkel over and over again around my phone to see if any ads pop up on my Facebook or Instagram. It's a product I can assure you I've never been in the market for, I've never searched for and probably never ever Will. Snorkel. Snorkel. Snorkel, snorkel, snorkel. Snorkel, snorkel, snorkel. The word snorkel doesn't even sound real anymore. I'm so sick of saying snorkel. <laughs> okay, so I'm at day five of saying snorkel, and so far I've had absolutely no ads for anything remotely to do with any kind of water activity pop up on any of my social media feeds, so I guess my phone's not that interested in my new snorkel obsession. It's not just me who's tested the theory. A mobile security company called Wondera carried out a similar experiment back in 2019. It played the sound of cat and dog food advertisements on loop for 30 minutes, keeping Facebook, Instagram, Chrome, Snapchat, YouTube and Amazon open with full permissions granted to each app. In the end, it found no evidence that phones or apps were secretly listening and turning that info into targeted ads. So if that's the case, how does my phone seem to know exactly what I'm thinking about? Well, experts say that tech companies don't actually have to listen into our conversations because they've already sussed out exactly who we are, what we're interested in and what we might want to buy in the future thanks to our digital footprint. Our digital footprints are made up of the little breadcrumbs we leave all over the internet. Things like location data, what we search for, what we buy and who we interact with. For example, if I'm logged into Facebook and I also have a browser open searching for snorkels, that info is added to a database. And before long, I'll probably be getting ads for snorkels on Facebook as well. Oh, and your friends and family might even get some too. Sorry, guys. There's a very good chance that if you have mentioned to a friend or to a family member in your household that you are interested in a particular location for a holiday, there is every possibility that somebody else in your house will go off and search for that. And that in itself would trigger that interest. So how do we protect our privacy? One of the main things is to be careful of what we actually give permission to when signing up for an app. While it might be pretty necessary for something like Snapchat to have access to your camera and your microphone, it might not be as necessary for something like a weather app. It's also now pretty easy to manage permissions for individual apps. There are also a bunch of apps that are all about protecting your privacy online and automatically block some of the stuff we've mentioned. And while our phones might not be hanging off our every words, as always, it's still a good idea to be super careful about what we choose to post and share online. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you chuck us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. See ya.